You call an attorney, Detective Vecchio? Yes. Did I? Yes. Do I need one? Yes. Nottingham Forest come home to the city ground for a first leg tie against French side Lyon. Britain's only hope of winning in Europe must contain the team that beat Lazio in the last round. Flying the flag in the UEFA Cup. Nottingham Forest versus Lyon. Sports night next Tuesday at 8 on BBC One. Bob's honeymoon begins on BBC Two now, but he and Terry still make a lovely couple. Comedy with the likely lads. Hey, you look like a guy with a nose for where it's at. Yeah. So you know that from Friday the 24th of November, the BBC will be broadcasting in Smellovision as part of Children in Need. Just sit down and relax. You'll need one of these and, of course, one of these. Available in shops where you see boxes like this. All you need to do is scratch and sniff to get a whiff of Noel's house party. Blobby, blobby, blobby. During Children in Need. Cause a stink. Here's one I made earlier. With the Blue Peter crew. Create a bong with a nose through nature. And be conveyed into the sensational world of the generation game. If you have an itch you want to scratch, look no further than Children in Need's smell vision Television never smelled so good. The nine o'clock news now on BBC One with Peter Sissons. The Princess of Wales breaks the news to the Queen that she's recorded an hour-long television interview. There's shock at the palace at her decision to answer questions publicly about her life, her family and her separation. Join us tomorrow for more news from the South. For now, good night. Good evening. Some very wet weather on the way, or rather I should say underway, because Certainly between now and, uh, say, early on Thursday morning, many places are going to have quite a lot of rain. More particularly, I would feel Northern Ireland, the southwest of Scotland, but some other parts of Scotland and Northern England as well. Due to that area of low pressure, that's going to do something else, because eventually it'll get away to the east of us, and then it will pull down those much colder northeasterly winds. As they come along, we're going to see temperatures drop, both by day and by night. So although it starts off mild in a few days' time, we're going to find a widespread frost across much of the country. Now, at the moment, we have a band of rain lying from Northern Ireland through about Liverpool, just coming up to Ipswich, and that band of rain is going to be continuing to move northwards during the rest of the night. Also, some rain moving south across northern Scotland. So the whole lot squeezing in together to give, eventually, Scotland and Northern Ireland a spell of pretty wet weather, and some of that rain turning to sleet or snow over the hills. Eventually, over England and Wales, as the rain moves away, it'll leave just some showers around southern and western coast. Most places are mild night, but turning colder in the north of Scotland as that strong northeasterly wind picks up. Three-way split tomorrow, the far north of Scotland quite bright with some wintry showers. For Wales, most central and southern areas of England also bright with sunshine and showers. Some of those showers incidentally quite lengthy and heavy with thunder merging into longer spells of rain. Then we have the really wet weather over Northern Ireland, many southern parts of Scotland, the more northern counties of England. So a pretty wet day to come there, but the rain's slowly easing off in some spots, in fact a little bit brighter that weather in the more central areas of Scotland. But it is, as I said, virtually going to be a fairly wet day. Two distinct wind directions. First of all, we're going to have the quite mild southerly or southwesterly winds, then the weather front, and then the northeasterly winds coming along behind. So across Scotland and eventually Northern Ireland, a cold, raw day, but mild again in the south. On Thursday, we're going to find many parts of the south starting off mild with further outbreaks of rain, but eventually that'll move away. It'll turn colder everywhere. There will be some showers, though, in the north and in the east. A very good evening to you. On BBC One, the 999 drink driving special. You hear from the police. I'm arresting you, as this indicates, the portion of alcohol in your breath is in excess of the prescribed limit. You hear from the victims. Last time, I held Nicola's hand. It was limp and cold. You hear from the drink drivers. That's our 999 special in half an hour. Welcome to East Finchley. It's out there on the street that we need people such as yourselves. People with a passion. Get your hand on it. Bill Patterson. Paul Reynolds. I ain't doing something just for 30 pieces of silver. Some of us have got a bit of self-respect. Jan Francis. 
river without a clue. And introducing Catherine Holman. This is the Inland Revenue, Mr Gibbs. Nobody is interested in robbing you. Pardon? Keeping an eye on the selfish and the corrupt. Thursday at 9, BBC Two. Involved in robbery and murder, and his ex is a crook. Things aren't looking too good for Fraser in the concluding part of tonight's feature length, Due South. I'm not following you. 